Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 8 of exercise 9.1. The question says a statue 1.6 meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal from a point on the ground. The angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degrees and from the same point the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degrees. You have to find the height of the pedestal here. So, a uh, pedestal is given to you on which a statue 1.6 meter tall is, is placed. Pedestal is basically a platform you generally see in the uh, chalks where a statue, uh, a platform is created on, on which the statue of any big personality is placed. So, in this question, a pedestal which is a platform is there and on which a statue which is 1.6 meter is placed on this and from a point on the ground if I see the top of this statue so here the angle of elevation is equal to 60 degrees and if I see the top of this pedestal and this angle is equals to 45 degree and this complete angle is equals to 60 degrees so this complete angle is 60 degree and this smaller angle is 45 degree so you have to find the height of this platform or you can say the pedestal so this height is not given to you so this distance is can be considered as x meters and this can be considered as h meters and if i name this this will be A, B, C and D. Obviously, this pedestal will be perpendicular to the ground or you can say this should be placed straight. So, it should make an angle with the ground as 90 degrees. Now, you have to find the value of H. Again, I have already discussed. First of all, you must know how to form the figure. Then after that, there are two triangles. So in both the triangles, you have to use the ratio for 10 theta and you have to substitute the value from one equation into second equation. So, first of all, let's solve in smaller triangle which is A, B and C. So in triangle A, B, C, I have to find out the ratio for 10 theta that will be equal to perpendicular upon base. So in this smaller triangle which is A, B, C, in this smaller triangle, theta is given to you as 45 degree. So obviously the side opposite to this theta will be the perpendicular which is h meters and the base is equal to x meters which is this and theta is given to you as 45 degrees and we know that the value for 45 10 45 is equal to 1 and this will be h upon x if I cross multiply so the value of h and x will be same. So this is our first equation which we have found from this first triangle. Now in the second triangle which is the bigger one A, B, D again I have to find the ratio for 10 theta that will be equal to perpendicular upon base. For this triangle theta is given to you as 60 degrees which is this complete theta. So 10, 60 will be equal to perpendicular again the perpendicular is the side opposite to this theta and for this complete theta the height or you can say the perpendicular will be this complete height that will be equal to 1.6 meter plus h meters upon base will remain the same which is equal to x meters now the value for 1060 is equal to root 3 that will be equal to 1.6 plus h upon x if i cross multiply this this will be root 3x is equal to 1.6 plus h. Now, you have to find the value of uh, h which is the height of the pedestal. So, it is better to substitute the value from first equation into second equation of x. Means, you can substitute the value of x here then you will find the value of h. If I replace x here because x and h are same so I have substituted I am substituting the value from first equation into this second equation. So instead of x 
I can write it as h that will be 1.6 plus h. Now I have to find out the h. For that I have to uh, shift this variable to this side. This will be root 3 h minus h is equals to 1.6. Now I have to take common h because there are two h. I have to find the value of h so that this will make my calculation easy. Now this constant I have to shift here. So the value of h will be equal to 1.6 whole upon root 3 minus 1. Now to solve these kind of expression because there is a root in the denominator. So instead of solving directly what you have to do is you have to rationalize this and rationalizing means you have to multiply changing the sign with the denominator as well as with the numerator. This will make a formula in the denominator and the root will be cancelled out. So this multiplied by this will remain same and this is a minus b and this is a plus b. If I consider root 3 as a, so this is a minus b if I consider 1 as b into a plus b and a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So here a is root 3. So root 3 square will be equal to 3. Root 3 square means root 3 is multiplied by root 3 and in that case square and root are cancelled out and this will make 3 and b square which is 1 will be 1. 1 square will be 1. So this will be 1.6 is this, this is 1.73 plus 1 upon this is 2. Now because 3 minus 1 is 2 and the root value of root 3 is 1.73. Now I can cancel this. This can be cancelled 0.8 times and this will be 2.73. Now if I multiply these two values, I will get my answer. This is 8 threes are 24. And 1, 2, 3, there will be 3 decimals. And I have to put this 3 decimal after counting from the right. So the height of this should be equal to 2.184 meters. So this is how you can solve this question also. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.